Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're testing out something that I can actually call a solar generator. Today we're taking a look at this Browley solar power station and I'm going to show you why I brought this one to you today. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I wanted to show you this one because this is a rather unique um, power station that actually is a solar generator. It actually has a solar panel on it. Now, while not the hugest solar panel in the world, it will work for emergency situations and it will keep it powered up or topped off um, while you're out on the trail during emergencies, whatever. You can also plug additional panels into this, which makes this really, really handy. So we're going to get into all that too, but I want to give you some info on the, uh, on the station itself. It's a 614.4 watt hour LiPo battery inside, 110 volts, 600 uh, pure sine wave inverter, and we will test that. And it has a peak of 1200, okay? So it does have this panel on the side and a little stand on the other. We're going to take that outside and test it, but I will show you it in a minute. But the first thing I wanted to do is check out the AC here, the uh, plug. It makes sure it really is a pure sine wave inverter. So I've got my meter all set up here. Okay, and there you go. As you can see, nice, even, pure sine wave. So no worries about that. Your electronics will be safe with this. Not that a modified sine wave is going to immediately kill all your electronics. It's just nice to have something like that for smaller motors and computers and things like that of a sensitive nature that like that pure current, like the same current that comes out of your wall socket, like the one back there. So like I said, this is a true solar power generator because it's got the panel. It can power up to seven devices total. All right. That includes laptops, phones, lights, fans, CPAP machines, mini refrigerators, you name it. And um, with the 30 watt solar panel, we'll be able to keep it topped off and possibly running in an emergency situation. So you no longer have to deal with noisy, bulky, loud, conventional generators. With this one, you can use renewable power to power your devices. It also is perfect for emergencies where, say, you're out somewhere and the power goes out or you're home and the power goes out. You can power up a whole lot with a 600 watt backup power station. Now, quickly, I'm going to show you how you would set this up. Now, it probably won't all be in camera, but when we take it outside, it will be. I want to show you the side here. This is a bit on the heavy side, so there we go. This is your stand, okay? There we go. It's a little tricky. All right, put it on its side like that. Okay, so it's leaning on its side right now. So the power, the, 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 the uh, solar panel, a whole lot easier to open, is over here, okay? And that is a 30 watt panel. Now remember, 30 watts is not gonna charge this thing up in five minutes. It's gonna take a while but it will keep it topped off and running in the event of an emergency. So that is really, really handy. If you're going to use this for, say, something small, like, say, a ham radio or, you know, uh, charging up your stuff while you're out at camp, keeping this running with a little bit of power draw that those small items might uh, take will actually do very, very well. Now, the nice part, like I mentioned before, is you can charge this up with another panel as well. The two panels will work in unison. Over here on the side, you have your USB-C out, your power delivery 65 watt USB, and your regular 18 watt USB 3.0. Okay. Another thing nice about this too is these are really um, 
tight fitting so i would suggest i would suspect that in a a bit of a rain or a light rain you're not going to have any major issues with this i wouldn't leave it out in pouring driving rain of course any i wouldn't leave out any electronics over here are your two outputs your two 5.5 millimeter barrel connectors along with your main input here and i have just the solar panel to use with that and over here is your ac and dc adapters and again these do fit in there very very well nice and snug so you don't have to worry if somebody splashes something on this if these are covered you're pretty good to go so real quick i want to show you how to turn this thing on and off and that's what i love too there are no more hold this for three seconds push this button push that when you're done you just turn them off if you want to check the battery all you have to do is hit that and that will also turn the display back on when it times out if you want your ac just hit it you'll hear the fan kick on real quick you want your dc just hit it no longer having to hold this for three seconds and then release it or any of that very straightforward and simple you just simply turn it all off when you're done what i want to tell you about now is the life po 4 battery now you guys know the lithium iron phosphate batteries are far superior this one would stand up to 3500 cycles and even after 3500 cycles the battery will still maintain about 80 percent of its original capacity you do have an advanced battery management system in here, so you've got no problems with any kind of power supply. It will monitor things like over and under current, short circuits, stuff like that. So it's a very safe unit, and LifePo 4 batteries are a whole lot safer to begin with. They're not like lithium ions that will catch on fire really easily. You do get a 60-month product warranty on this, so anything that goes wrong, you just contact them. They've been very responsive to me as far as getting this um, into review very very responsive very very easy to deal with so i'm sure with their customer service they're probably just as easy to deal with what i'd like to do is test a few items on this right now um, and show you how it works and show you what it can put out um, we will test the usb uh, outlets with just a light or something but uh, i want to test the ac output on this now some may think only having one ac outlet on this is kind of a disadvantage well you can always run an extension cord for two smaller items i don't really see a problem with that so let me set this back up and we will try out some items let's start it. up with the dc power first i want to plug in my little inflatable light here love this thing from climate okay i'm gonna just toss that in there there you go obviously that works but what i really want to test out is the ac so i'm going to get my drill we're going to start with something kind of small first and see how it reacts to it i like using my hammer drill because with some of the older power stations that I first tested, when I turned the drill on, it was kind of the steady little, and then it would get up to speed. This thing seems to kick it off right away, full speed. So let me grab that. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in over here. There we go. Whoop. All right, now this is loud, so if you're wearing headphones, turn the volume down. Uh, here we go, let's see what happens. Whoop. Might help if I turn the port on, huh? We're at 222, so no problem with that load whatsoever. Kicks right on and right off, no issues. Definitely, that's cool. So we know it'll run a drill. Um, and you do see the output right there. I like that too. Um, one of the things that drives me nuts are these things that don't give you information. They'll just give you a bar, you know, with battery bar on there. It doesn't really tell you what the heck's going on. I like to know what I'm draining and what I'm putting in. So now let's try now on low. Okay, I'm going to unplug this because it's kind of reflecting in the camera. On low, I'm going to use my heat gun because I know that's under 600 watts. And we're going to see how that holds up to this. Then we're going to run this down a little bit off camera and we'll uh, try and charge it up outside. All right. So we got the heat gun here. Now remember, let's make sure it's off. We're going to run it on low. This will get very close to 600 watts. So there we go. Three, 560, 555. And as you can tell, 545, it's having no problem whatsoever running that load. We're at the edge of the 600 watts. And again, let's see if, it, let's see if it'll... There you go. Took it up to 900. I wanted to put it back down again. So you see it will handle that peak very well. Um, it will handle the peak if you have to accidentally bump something up or if you get something that has a big kick on at start, a big surge power when you turn it on. And that's one of the nice parts about this. 
So we're going to run this down a little bit and then we are going to take it outside and see if we can charge it up. Now it is a very cloudy overcast day out there. Um, we're going to see how this works in less than perfect conditions. Sometimes when I'm doing these kind of reviews with solar panels, I actually like it when it's like that because it shows you that you think people think, well, what good's a solar panel? I live in an area that's constantly rainy and cloudy. Well, they still work. They may not work as well but they still work. So we are gonna try it with just the 30 watt panel, the internal, and then we're gonna plug another 120 watt panel in there and see what we can do. Let me run this down a little bit and I'll bring you back in a few. It does look like rain out here. So this is the cloud conditions we are working with, as you can see. And I'm gonna show you that this thing still will pull in a charge even as cloudy as it is out there. So let's get it down and show you what's up. So this is the current setup as we have it. I have not plugged in the large panel yet. Um, when I charge in the, when I plug in the larger panel, I notice that it does kick on the fan. The fan on this is extremely quiet. I was really impressed with that. So let's get you a little bit lower here and show you the display when we open up that panel and get some sun in. All right, so I got it on the ground here. We're opening up the panel. There's the fan kicking on. And there is your charging. And there we go. So we're not getting a ton of wattage in, as you can tell. But it is charging, and it is starting to move. And you can actually hear the fan kick on. So we're going to let this sit out here for a little bit and see how much sun we can get in. There really is not a lot of sun, as we saw previously. <laughs> There's nothing but storm clouds. But there it is. All right. Now let's plug in the other panel. That's back here. There's our plug and see what that does. All right, there's our input. We've got them both together. Now we're getting about three watts. Yeah, 10 watts. Okay, there we go. So there isn't a lot of sun out here today, but this is an excellent time for you to guys to, to see that it still will work even in low sunlight conditions. So we're going to give this a little bit. I'm sure the clouds will move a little over and uh, we'll see just how much we can pull in with uh, both panels going. Just wanted to give you another look at it. I am using the extra panel because it's so overcast. The clouds seem to be fading away a little bit. If you can look on this side, you see. So maybe we'll get a little more sunlight in here, but it does work even in low light conditions, and that's what's important to remember. All right, I'll talk to you in a few minutes when we get some more sunlight or more power in the station. We're just gonna let it run until it tops off. So to give you a little update, um, some of the clouds behind me have kind of cleared away. And I was getting about 15 watts on the little internal panel. And when I plugged the other one in, I was getting about 57. So it's still very cloudy, but if you're patient and you give it enough time, eventually the clouds will move and you'll get some sunlight. So, so far I'm really impressed with it. I love the fact that it has its own solar panel inside of it. And it's very easy to deploy. You just open it up, even though I couldn't open the stand for the life of me. <laughs> it's very, very simple to put together and deploy. I mean, I could easily have that at a campsite or during an emergency and have that powering up my stuff and uh, even charging it because it does do pass through charging. I am able to turn on the AC and run it during a charging uh, session. So we should be done here pretty soon. I really didn't use all that much up using the, uh, the two devices. And I'll bring you in and we'll wrap up the video. I'll give you some info on the price and where you can pick up one of these for yourself. All right, about 30 minutes later, we finally stopped it 100%, topped off, no problem. The internal panel, even in this crummy weather, in this overcast kind of cloudy weather, was doing about 15 watts. Really not bad. I attached the other one and that gave me a combined total of about 75 watts with the panel. So all in all, very handy. I love the fact that it's got its own panel. I mean, this is the most portable unit out there. Just everything self-contained, really easy to put together. Now, the weight on this, about 23 pounds. Your dimensions are going to be 17 by 13 by 5.6 inches thick. And all in all, I think it's a pretty cool thing with the battery management system in there to give you the protection and the MPPT charge controller so you get maximum uh, maximum sun out of your, uh, your chargers. Um, all in all, great little unit. Very handy, very easy to deal with. Again, if I don't want any of this stuff, I just turn it off. If I just want to use my AC, I just turn it on. There's no long presses or anything like that. Let me give you a look at the side of this thing. That's where your panel's going to be. Okay. That's where your panel folds out, of course, okay? And the back is just the back with this little handle on it. Real, real simple to operate. So that is a Browley solar power station, 600 watts power, comes with a very decent manual. And 
this little kit here I kind of have it messy at the moment but it's all here you get your charger okay there's your wall charger your wall charger right there you're gonna get another cable here that will do it from DC to DC input output whatever if you need a little extension on your solar panels and of course your cigarette lighter adapter plug and your warranty certificate inside and a nice little bag all in all pretty cool and a ton of adapters anything that you need to adapt if you have a solar panel that has a weird kind of adapter on the end now you can see you can adapt them all to that and get it charging up real real easy so a nice kit very well thought out uh, again not one of those ridiculously you know two thousand dollar or three thousand watt power stations this is good for your everyday needs while you're out maybe camping during a short power outage anything like that uh, even a long power outage something like this really comes in handy now you know again there are inherent shortcomings to any of these power stations if the sun isn't out if you can't charge them up they're gonna run out but all in all i gotta say for the money on this it's a really decent deal i'm just gonna zip this up and show you everything all at once right there there's the front of your station there you go let's get that flat there you go all right so all in all, a great deal from Browley. The price on this is $599.99, so 600 bucks. That's about on par with a dollar a watt, which we've seen most units. Um, however, the cool part is you're not paying for that solar panel at a dollar a watt. That comes with the unit, so definitely a cool little thing. Now you can, again, as we showed you, use external panels. It doesn't come with an external panel, but you can use them. Nice rubberized side all around here for any kind of heavy duty bumping and bouncing in your vehicle. So I would think for a vehicle emergency kit, maybe amateur radio emergency services deployment kit, something like this, really, really cool. I did turn this on by my HF radio, plug some stuff into it. I got absolutely no RF hash off it. So that's really nice to know too as well. Um, I didn't try it with the solar panel open and charging, but of course, just by running it, no problem at all there. So there is a coupon on Amazon. It is not my coupon. If you go and get this right now, that $5.99, you will save 50 bucks off. Okay? So immediately that becomes like what? $5.50 instead of $600. Um, you just click the little box under the price tag there, under the price on Amazon, and the link will go directly to it. It is not in my store yet. It will be eventually. But uh, I just wanted to give you a look at this because I think it's a very unique kind of different power station that gives you a little bit of opportunity to charge it without having to plug it in somewhere or lug it out around another heavy solar panel. You do have the option of using another solar panel, but you don't have to. Anyway, folks, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out all our links. This link for this will be down below. And don't forget, Amazon has the coupon. It's not my generated coupon. It's an Amazon coupon. So if it's not there when you go, that's why. Uh, don't forget to check out our Amazon affiliate store down below. If there's nothing in the store you like, just click that link and shop as you normally would we really do appreciate when you do that it helps us bring you cool gear our freeze dried wholesalers link don't forget that link that link saves you 15 percent you click that link you buy a freeze dried food you want and his food is awesome we've done a ton of cooking videos on it you buy uh, anything you want when you get to your checkout when you get to your car at checkout you'll see the iridium 242 15 percent discount you can save a whole lot of money using that link no codes, no nothing. Just use my link, click it, and you'll get it. Below that are my Patriot Supply link. Coming up to the last day of the month pretty soon here, and that's your last chance to get that four-week food kit for $80 off. Under $200, four weeks worth of food, 25-year shelf life, good stuff. And lastly, our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Don't forget to check that out as well. I thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Stay safe and stay prepared.